Hey! My name is Gala. I'm a Looker Studio expert and the founder of Gallery Reports. I would like to talk about filters in Looker Studio. I've already created some Looker Studio dashboard for tests and I connected sample G4 data and uh, created a table. How can we filter data? First of all, we have add control and we can use filters on this level. Um, take drop down list, for example, and we can filter data using add control. In this case, we need same data source as our table. Our table is G4 demo, demo uh, which one? Uh, demo, just G4 demo account. And this will be G4 demo account. And here we have session default search group, channel group. I will change name to channel group to make it shorter. Group. Okay, let's work, please. Um, and I will remove. I will do bit style. And, uh, okay. So first of all, we can filter our data using add control, using control features. For example. We have channel group and we have sessions and we can filter only direct traffic for example and see our table will it will apply to our table also we can use filter on charts for that we click to our table we scroll down on the right menu and find a filter click add a filter i already have a lot but let's create a new one uh, in this window, we can add name, J4. I like to add a data source name to filter to understand later how this filter work. And uh, traffic or oh, organic. Yeah, let's use organic. I, I like it. Uh, sorry, my video maybe because of I record my screen it became slow but sorry uh, organic and here we have options we have data source and I cannot change it because I create this filter for chart so here we apply this filter to G4 demo account then we can include or exclude data for example exclude I use um, I will show you so session default mm, default channel group uh, so i use this field session default channel group as the same as i use in table and for example i want we have several options here and conditions we can use equal to contains start with reg expressions uh, it's interesting topic if you want to find some video on my uh, my channel uh, let me know which kind of regu regular expressions are you interested in i will record a video about that uh, so match contains in if you have a list of uh, different values for this field and is null so when is null it is easiest way we have nothing here and i exclude null for j4 data it doesn't make sense so we will include and we can include contains organic uh, with this we will use or we will see all session uh, all channels that includes organic and uh, the name also we can do equal to or uh, other options also we can use uh, or or and conditions. For example, we are interested in data sources that include organic and number of sessions more than 10,000, whatever. Or we are fine to include organic or sessions contains direct. So it could be channel 
mm, session default channel group, for example, equal to Example, we can do this stuff and save our filter. So for this, this filter applies only to this table and we'll see only organic and direct traffic. Um, but this uh, here in uh, at control, we have all traffic sources that Google Analytics 4 has. So we can apply the same filter. We can just select this, scroll down and we already created this filter. It will be uh, below others and we can apply this filter to this chart as well in this case it will apply to this chart and we see only organic and direct filters let's remove it from here and remove it from the table for example you have um, organic so this page was created for ACO traffic so we want to apply this organic filter to the whole page not for each chart separately and it is possible for that we go to page current page settings here on the right menu we should have filters we don't see it okay let's do again page current page settings fine so we can add default data source for the page g4 demo account default data range it's okay and we can add filter page filter i will add same filters that we created before and you see automatically this filter applies for all charts on the page check it here good when you um, select the chart after that you can scroll down and you can see this filter page filter and you can uh, switch it on or switch it off uh, to apply this filter for the chart For example, you want to uh, let's remove filter from here and now we see the whole table again um, Also, you can apply filter to the whole dashboard for that we go to file report settings here we can again select data source It's not necessary, but you can do it and you can you have some settings and you can apply filter for the dashboard and I will apply the same filter in this case this filter applies to the whole dashboard sometimes it it's nice as well and when we select a chart we scroll down and we can see report filter applies to this if we add paid filter uh, we will see it here and we can uh, switch off for some charts filter for some charts so to review everything what i said we can ha we have several options to filter data in looker studio first of all we can use add control and where you can add or remove some traffic sources or some like some values we have chart level filter and we add it here on the right menu setup add a filter table filter also we have page filter where you go to page current page settings and on the page level we can add page filter to apply a filter for the whole page also we have file report settings where we can add filter for the whole dashboard sometimes uh, i use different kind of filters based on the goal that i need to achieve uh, but i think it's nice to know that you can do all of them and use all of them when you need it hope you like this video Tell me about that in comments, give me a like, give a like to this video, subscribe to my channel, let me know if you have other questions about Looker Studio and talk to you soon.